We the people of the United States. I love it. We the people of the United States. 232 years ago today, 55 people from 13 colonies signed our Declaration of Independence. And so began the United States of America. We gather to remember what those principles were and then to reflect on whether or not those principles are being applied today. A prince whose character is thus marked by every act which may define a tyrant is unfit to be the ruler of a free people. We therefore, the representatives of the United States of America in General Congress assemble, solemnly publish and declare that these united colonies are and of right ought to be free and independent states. We the people have not only the right, but as I see it, an obligation to speak up, uh, to fight back, to protest. Because it isn't just about us. July 4th partly means fireworks, partly means barbecues, all of that, and all the years of doing that with family and friends and neighbors. But it very much also means a chance to think about what it took in the mind and the experience to conceive of a nation based on liberty. Knowing what the uh, framers went through and how the people in the 13 colonies came together is not only inspiring, but it is the role model for how we should deal with 21st century problems. It's such an important, uh, empowering experience. Somebody give me a Bill of Rights hallelujah here today! <laughs> Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof or abridging the freedom of speech. I love the First Amendment. It allows people to protest. It allows people to speak out. And no government can stop that. red, white, and blue for everyone, and I love red, white, and blue. Happy Independence Day, New Yorkers.